In this video, we're going to take a look at some absolute value problems that you'll be tested on. So again, these problems are from the back side of the study guide for test four. And number three on the back side is the absolute value of 2x plus 8 equals 12. So the whole idea with absolute value is we want to isolate the absolute value bars first. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to remove that 8 that's being added to the absolute value by doing an opposite operation because we need to go from one side of the equal sign to the other. <coughs> Once we've done that, we're still left with this absolute value of 2x and it equals 4. So before we think about what values x can be, we are going to think about what two numbers can we have inside the absolute value to get 4. And if you look at off to the side here, we take a look at a couple numbers. Let's say we had 4. The absolute value of 4 equals 4. And there's one other number. Can you guess that other number? When I take its absolute value, I get positive 4. Yes, it's negative 4. So that means that we can have two numbers inside those absolute value bars, either 4 or negative 4, to equal 4 when we take their absolute value. So that's what we're going to do with the 2x. We're going to find the two values of x that make it either 4 or negative 4. So we're going to take that 2x, and we're going to set it equal to these two numbers, to this number here, and this number here, because those are the two values we want to take their absolute value to make 4. So we'll take the 2x, set it equal to 4, and negative 4. <clears throat> so we've got one step to do, and that is just to divide by 2 on both sides. And that will eliminate the coefficient of x. So now what we're left with is just two numbers x can be. Negative 2 is one of those values of x. The other value of x is just positive 2. So sometimes we write the answer in a solution set. Sometimes you'll see this on a multiple choice test in the future where the answers are in these braces. This is called our solution set. Solution set just gives the values x can be. Negative 2 is one of the values of x and positive 2 is the other. Well, there's one other type of absolute value equation you see on the test. <clears throat> and we're going to take a look at, actually, instead of number 4, let's take a look at number 8. This 8 is the other type. 4 is similar to the one we just did. So 8 looks like this. It's got a 3x plus 4. And that expression is in the absolute value bars. And this equals, say, 19. So the difference is, here the 2x was only inside the absolute value bars. But now we have 3x and 4 is being added to that inside the absolute value bars. So we've already done a portion of the work. It's not even, we don't even have to do this first step like we did on the first problem it's already isolated. The absolute value bars are by themselves. So what we're doing is we're thinking of what two numbers that when we take the absolute value of these two numbers, and I'm going to have to get those absolute values a little further apart because they're a little bit bigger numbers this time, but we're thinking of absolute values that are going to end up equaling 19. So we need an absolute value of some number that equals 19. Well, 19 is one of the solutions, but there's one more number that can go inside absolute value bars to equal 19. That number is negative 19. And these are the two numbers that we're going to set the 3x plus 4 equal to. So we'll go ahead and rewrite our equation over to the side here. We've got 3x plus 4 can equal two numbers. It can equal 19, or it can equal negative 19. And so that's what we're going to do, is set that expression equal to those two numbers 
to find the values of x that make those values. So we set the 3x plus 4 equal to 19 and negative 19. Now we're ready to go ahead and solve for x. We do that by just doing opposite operations. It's a positive 4, so we're going to take 4 away. Do the same thing on this other side. <coughs> so what we've got left, we're going to have to add these two numbers because they are the same sign. Is this with a negative 23 equals 3x. But on the other side, we end up subtracting this, we get 15. So now we just have one more step to do to get x by itself. That's to divide by 3. And that will cancel out the coefficient of x. So we go ahead and do that. And what we've got is a mixed number, or in this case an improper fraction, negative 2, 23 thirds. That's one of the values of x. And the other value is 15 divided by 3. Well, we can do that math, so we might as well x5. So we've got a choice. We can either leave this as an improper fraction like it is. We can do that because it is reduced. There's no common factors. Or we could go ahead and do the division. If we did the division, 3 goes into 23 7 times. 7 times 3 makes 21. If I subtract that from 23, I get 2. And it's over always the denominator. So negative 7 and 2 thirds, that's one of the solutions. 5 is the other. And there's our solution. Our solution set. Well, we'll take a look at one other problem in, in part 4, and that's one of the word problems that you'll see as the last problem on the test.